Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado, and I'm here with Dr. Engling Go from HPE. Dr. Go, I heard some really interesting news about your spaceborne computer. It won some awards today, didn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Rich. Yes, um, the spaceborne computer is essentially uh, a HPC system uh, that we launch uh, with NASA support onto the space station. And the whole idea is to test if we can use software uh, to harden the computer. The motivation for this uh, was uh, when I submitted the proposal back then was uh, because of NASA. Um, as they travel further and further from Earth, astronauts travel further and further from Earth, um, like on an interplanetary uh, mission, uh, they have to be more and more self-sufficient. Uh, unlike today, when they are close to Earth, yeah, uh, they can... Uh, if they need a simulation done, they can send uh, the signal uh, back to the Earth's supercomputer, right? Supercomputer on Earth, run the simulation and get the answers back. Uh, but as they are further and further from Earth, it takes a long time uh, to get the answer back. Uh, and as such, uh, my idea, the idea we had was uh, if we could launch the very latest computers, not one that has gone through generations of hardening, right? Uh, hardening and, and they become generations uh, behind, but carry the very latest with them. Uh, running standard operating systems so that they can load uh, lots of uh, all the different anticipated software they need uh, and, and fly with it. Yeah. Okay. So what were these two awards you got? Oh, one was from HPC Wire, um, and that one was for the top supercomputing award, and the other one was from Hyperion for the same thing. Yeah, we were very, very honored. Yeah. I actually watched the launch uh, uh, on the end. Well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, how's it going? Oh, great. Uh, on installation, we ran the Limpact benchmark on the two nodes connected by InfiniBand. Uh, it came up with one teraflop while flying around uh, uh, on the space station, right around Earth on the space station. Uh, and since then, uh, we it has been operating for 62 days uh, um, uptime, yeah, so continuously. I, I, I saw your talk about this at HPCast, and it was funny. You said, you know, the, the basically it was up there, and it made about three quarters of a uh, orbit, and that's how long it took to run Limpack. Did I get that right? <laughs> that's right. Okay. Uh, I think on on, uh, on average, uh, well, it, it does about ninety, I think, revolutions uh, uh, around Earth a day, uh, and and uh, so it's moving very fast. But uh, the Limpack also ran fast, right? So before one revolution, it it completed Limpack. Yeah, well, that's right. Very interesting. So, Dr. Go, I, I have to ask, why do you do this? Why? As uh, I initially said that the motivation was for NASA, uh, for interplanetary travel. So that was the uh, first motivation. And then to, uh, the why for the business side uh, is as follows. You know, uh, the, the two uh, key uh, focus areas for HPE as a company is we make hybrid IT simple. And that translates, in my opinion, right, uh, into an autonomous data center, right? A data center on the cloud, data center on-prem that has to be autonomous. Yeah. And uh, this work, right, this work that we are doing uh, ha has a lot of autonomy uh, built in because we cannot expect the astronauts on the space station and or, and or in the future when they travel to Mars to service the computer. So the computer needs to have uh, the capability for self-care right uh, to also be loaded with soft uh, hardening by software capability right and then take care of itself uh, uh, if if there are certain anomalies happening to for it to for example slow the system down uh, uh, so that uh, errors uh, will be less common or no not at all so these are the kinds of uh, ideas uh, we've we've implemented so we make hybrid IT simple and therefore an autonomous data center the second part uh, of the uh, focus area for uh, HPE is we, we power the intelligent edge. Well, uh, this Space One computer is the farthest edge uh, device that we have uh, out of this world far, right? Yeah. Yes. Those are the two reasons. They are aligned uh, with uh, what we our focus areas for the company, right? In addition for, uh, to doing something that could be valuable for NASA, which is our long long term customer, right? Uh, especially for the uh, interplanetary long voyage uh, human space travel. I, I want to congratulate you on these two awards and a successful launch and, and ongoing great work. Congratulations, Dr. Gold. Great job. Thank you very much.
coverage. Yeah, as always. We'll see you soon again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>